Las Vegas Retail Market, third quarter 2014. Greater Las Vegas total retail vacancy rate stands at 9.1% in the third quarter of 2014, but UNLV Lead Institute for Real Estate Studies tracks the anchored retail market in which four quarters of positive net absorption has helped push the vacancy rate down to 11.1% from 11.5% last quarter, despite several big box store closings, including two Target stores totaling about a quarter of a million square feet and two Albertsons grocery stores, one in East Las Vegas and the other in Henderson. There is no doubt that the grand opening of the mostly leased 1.6 million square foot high-end retail office and condo project in downtown Summerlin in October of 2014, along with other new retail projects on and off the Las Vegas Strip, will greatly contribute to the Las Vegas economy. But this will not affect the net absorption because the retail stores that have been built become occupied, contributing nothing to the net absorption. Net absorption only affects previously built vacant buildings. Taxable sales, a good measure of retail market performance, are up, and the July 2014 numbers for Clark County that is dominated by the Las Vegas Valley continue to steadily climb. On a 12-month moving total basis, these sales reached $35.3 billion, which shows a 7.9% increase from the past year. The average vacancy rate for the Las Vegas Valley anchored retail spaces, including vacant sublease spaces, has fallen to 0.5% from last quarter and 1.4% from the third quarter of 2013. However, the vacancy rate is not the same in all areas. As this table shows, the vacancy rate for Northeast Las Vegas that is home to Nellis Air Force Base and a thriving Hispanic community is far less than most area, other areas. But then again, areas do not tell the whole story. For example, Henderson's vacancy rate is at 13.1%. However, Eastern Avenue in Henderson is one of the best locations in the Valley for retail stores and vacancies are scarce. Just like Good locations in the UNLV area, downtown Las Vegas around Fremont Street, and West Las Vegas. Much of the vacancies due to older, functionally obsolete strip shopping centers in below average income neighborhoods. I doubt that some of these will ever get occupied and will be erased in time. Let's discuss inflation adjusted asking rental rates. Retailing in Greater Las Vegas, which includes Henderson and North Las Vegas, has become affordable again, as you can see in this graph. Inflation-adjusted average asking rental rates for anchored retail in the second quarter of 2014 at $1.22 is 33% less than five years ago and less than half of the peak asking price in 2007. One expects that asking rental rates calculated on a triple net basis and excluding operational expenses would go up with decreasing vacancy, and it did go up to $1.27 in the second quarter of 2014 before dropping back down to $1.22 in the third quarter. The reason for the drop is that UNLV, which provides all the data discussed here, calculates asking prices of vacant spaces on the open market and not the true rental rates, and as the more desirable space is all absorbed, leaving the less desirable space, rents tend to go down even with a dropping vacancy. However, rest assured that true rental rates calcula calculated using comparable spaces over time are on the rise, which is a good sign that the anchored retail market is at or near bottom. Just like the industrial sector, it is a good time for conservative investors to start buying retail properties in good locations in the Vegas Valley. If you want to buy, lease, or invest in Las Vegas, Henderson, or North Las Vegas retail stores or strip shopping malls in the immediate future, please call us at 800-762-4917. If you are only doing research, we will be happy to help you with that, too. This is Karen Saberzade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com, wishing you a great day.